So we're doing good old another definitive top ten once again. Uh, doing for the first time. Wait, are we streaming now? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Bro, I said I was about to press the button. Damn it. I found this clip. Well, I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean, I guess you could play it, but you, it'll be on stream. Oh, that's fine. Uh, apparently, Mother's Basement is feuding with Pete Buttigieg. Oh, oh that's right. You were saying that he, he had some barbs to say. You want it probably like this. But really, Masato works as a stand-in for any billionaire philanthropist who's trying to find a way to save the world that conveniently doesn't involve them giving up any of their way-too-much stuff. Just like how Tsukasa works as a stand-in for any milk-toast centrist who pays lip service to progressive ideals while licking the boots of those same rich assholes. Basically, this show is about Chuni Pete Buttigieg and his Bashonen billionaire backers starting an entire magic civil war just to recreate the world we have now. And Yay. Politics. Yeah. Wild stuff. And I don't watch him. <laughs> uh, he's probably totally right, too. But, like, I don't... I, I, yeah, talk about politics. I just, I just instantly tuned out. My interest is gone. Um, but yeah, so we're in, in here, gonna talk for the first time about movies. Uh, now I know I am not the biggest movie buff. I've seen a good chunk of films, but like I'm not a huge movie guy. Uh, Tay, I believe you've seen quite a lot of cinematic pictures. <laughs> If that's what you want to call them, sure. <laughs> uh, and I know uh, good old uh, Mike here is probably the one who's watched the most movies of the three of us. I guess he disagrees. Oh, can you not hear Michael? No, I can't. <laughs> I can't hear him. God damn it. <laughs> Michael, come on, bro. He's going to leave and come back. All right, all right. <laughs> if it ain't Michael, it's you, Tay. Every time. <laughs> I can't hear anyone. Oh. No, yeah, you can. Oh, you can, hey, you can hear that. us just fine. I can't hear Tayshawn. Because he's not talking. Oh. <laughs> wait, what was Isaac talking or something? Hey, wait, I was saying I've got like I think about two fifty, three hundred uh, movies I have logged in on Letterbox. So, <laughs> so you watched a couple of films? <laughs> yeah, a couple, a couple motion pictures. Uh, so we're here. We're gonna talk about protagonists once again. I believe this is actually our last list uh, that we got planned. So. So after this, we'll be trans. No, no, we got one more. This That's next about to say, wasn't there? Weren't you thinking about comics or something? No, I decided not to do comics because best comic protagonist would just be what's your favorite comic book. <laughs> the, the question, uh. because like every character has a series of comics, pretty much. Uh, so, yeah. and so we're not going to do that one. But I forgot. Next week we are doing worst uh, anime slash video game protagonists. It's pretty much just worse protagonists uh, in yeah. general. Also, I miscounted. I have over 500 movies locked into that. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. I know. <laughs> so, so yeah, so Michael Michael's definitely watched a, a couple motion pictures <laughs> and is totally way, probably knows way more about this stuff than we do. I, this is so my I longest watch, list I've uh... had. I have like 18 I characters. Oh my god. I had like I have like five <laughs> written down. I mean, how many are we doing? Four again, or five? Or um, we'll I'll probably just do a bunch of honorable mentions. We'll probably do five and do honorable mentions since there's only three of us this time. Uh, I wanted Axeman, but I'm pretty sure he's still unconscious as he does so frequently. And uh, Muffin wanted to be here, but she is also just far too tired to, to yeah. do it. Um, Man, Steiny would be great for this list. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We, we got to get those. Uh, we got to get those foreign films in here. 
<laughs> those uh, black and white French films, and I'm sure if I messaged him, he probably would do it too. But... Like, leave the chat. Probably. Yeah, yeah. Isaac left a little bit ago. He left right before I started saying he didn't he didn't want to be in this one. Yeah, which is weird because he's like a I don't know he's he's not really a big movie guy. He just watches movies, I guess. He's the anime is... guy. Yeah. Uh, but of course, I want to do more than just anime. Our first like four lists were anime, so now we're doing movies. Uh, so we'll do as we do every time. We present each round. We present one. We got to give our our reasoning for it. Uh, and we'll be breaking down this time we're doing five rounds just because it's just so few of us um so we can make sure we have 10 which is what we've been focusing on uh and then you know while i'm figuring out the order and everything after we give scores uh we'll let michael present all of his honorable mentions because <laughs> I, I have like two and then i'm sure you have uh you said you have 18 different options so i'm sure you gotta so. you'll you'll have a couple to present so that sound, sounds sounds oh, yeah. good Uh, and of course, so like, so like, if I say someone and someone's like, "No, I want to do that," just let me know. I'll easily move on to something else. <laughs> so, sounds good. Oh, Axon said he was eating, so give oh. him like fifteen twenty minutes. Oh, did he? Did he actually message us? Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, if he wants to get in here, you have to hurry though. You just wait for him, since there's only three of us anyway. Yeah, I guess that's fair. We can we can wait. Um, we can kill a few minutes. Uh. I'll be having Predator in the background, Hunting Ground, mostly because I need more excuses to play the game. Wait, you cause... bought Hunting Ground? Yeah, because I actually really liked this game when we played it. <laughs> I fucking, I think this game's dope. I like playing humans, and I love playing the Predator. So I definitely picked this up. I knew I was picking it up when it came out. Uh, granted, Predator is super fun. If if this was a sixty dollar <clears throat> release, I wouldn't. But it is not. It's, it's forty, 40 right? Yeah. $40. Unless you bought the complete edition, which was 60 but I just got the standard. I didn't need the classic good. Predator skin and stuff. It was good, but, like, just because I'm not a huge fan of those ones, I'd probably get it if it got down to, like, sub-20 Yeah. to play with people. If not enough people get it, I don't I don't doubt that it'll go down in price uh, in the near future. But... Because it, it seems like it reviewed fair, but, like, it, it uh, isn't, like, overly, like, played. I just think, <clears throat> for most people, 40 bucks for a multiplayer only three versus one game is probably, like, a little steep. That's four versus one. But nah, dude, this is a perfect time for a game like this, when you can only see your Wait. friends through online play. Oh, yeah, true, I just meant, like, money-wise. That's fair. Recession would be the better uh, thing to say there. Yeah, because not many people, not everyone can get work right now, or accept unemployment. So everyone's kind of in a in a weird spot here and there. Yeah. Oh well, I think I found those pesky hummins. Just, I just see a giant explosion in the middle of a warehouse. Oh, I scanned one of them. Also, like, Predator is still easily my favorite movie monster ever made. Like, I think it is oh, one. It is literally the That'd be a great one. list. Actually. Best movie monsters? I agree. That, yes. that'd be, that, that's an, that is actually one I, I don't think I could do without Axeman. <laughs> oh, yeah. He'd be really upset if we did that one without him. <laughs> Man, you got such great ones, too. You got Predator. You got, uh, you got the Xenomorphs. You got... Hell, you got Godzilla's God, general. Yeah, yeah, Godzilla and all of the Dang. monsters from Godzilla. <laughs> Godzilla. King, King Kong. King Kong. Uh, classic. If we count monsters as aliens in general that are like yeah. a... Yeah, this just has to be monstrous big... things. Yeah. Ooh, he's worth a good amount of points already. Where are the others? Oh, I think that's another one. Oh, he ain't worth shit. 
Where's the last one? It's over there. I'm trying to think, what are there some other great movie monsters? I guess you got your your Freddy's and Jasons, like your your slasher movie yeah. villains. Slasher movies, aliens. Yeah. If I think mean, it, I guess it depends on how monstrous you want to make them. When it comes to things like Freddy and Michael Myers. Yeah, because they're like Freddy's technically just a burned human who became like a dream eater phantom. Basically. Yeah. I mean, I think out of the three, he's the most monstrous. Yeah, which is funny because Jason. I mean, so Jason has, like, the crazy powers, but, like, he's just a dead guy. Pretty much. Yeah. Who's Michael haunted Myers by... Is a... yeah, weird, Michael... because he apparently... I think if I remember some of the movie... Early movie lores correctly, it's implied that he can't die because he's so evil, neither heaven nor hell will let him in. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I think I did hear about that. He's also he's also just a dead guy. Like he was a guy who was yeah. this like monster, or he was like just a, a serial killer, and then he was turned into super evil monster. Oh shit! Somebody spot me. Second wind ability. Oh, I'm fading. I got a predator to it. No, but yeah, uh, I do think uh, Movie Mod's supposed to be very good. Yeah, we'll have to add that uh, to our lists of lists. What do you think, Tayshawn? Uh... Yeah, movie monsters. I'm down for that. I mean, I don't know if I'll be able to come up with very many, but I, I'm definitely down to participate still. What's your knowledge on uh, on uh, you big movie guy, Tay? Uh, yeah, you say that, or you couldn't. Depends. <laughs> you could totally not say that and be and still be correct, but you could say it too. <laughs> If you want it. I won't tell yeah, you you're so wrong, you... but I'll just say you're not right. <laughs> you get it. Yeah, technically correct's the best correct. Exactly. Where is... Should, should we maybe do you want to do you want to still just stream right now or do you want to wait till Axon comes back and just restart the stream? Nah, it's fine. We're already doing okay. it. Okay, we'll, do, we'll just we'll just Mine, keep it yeah. going. I'm I'm having fun playing Predator, so. <laughs> okay. So now fuck, fuck it, it. It's, it'll it'll stay on. <laughs> I'm already in a match. The match is going good. Fuck it.
Uh, I also got figured out how to set up all my capture stuff on the computer. So nice, stream nice. stuff through it on the capture card or stream stuff you, on the computer itself. You did figure it out or you still have to? No, I did. I did that earlier. Oh, sweet. Now it's just a matter of what will be the first thing to fuck with or what, what, what we do. Um, definitely one of the biggest ones on my list is to do a big group uh, smash stream. I've always wanted to do that. Oh, do you have the kind that you can actually stick into your, uh, uh... Yeah, it just has to hook through HDMI. As long as it has an HDMI input or an output through, uh, or output through the console, I can stream whatever we want to stream. Nice. You can stick it somewhere, alright. Yep. He's, he's absolutely correct. Oh, Michael, do you have a book, by the way? What book? In Animal Crossing? Uh, a book? A single book, yes. I, I don't know. I'm not sure. No. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah, my boss, director, I don't know what the fuck to call him, uh, just uh, messaged me. I will be in episode three, apparently. Episode what? Uh, what? Oh, I'm in a web series. <clears throat> oh, okay. Nice. Yeah, yeah, you said nothing about that. Yeah. Oh, yep, yeah, that's the thing. Uh, cool. Awesome, yeah, dude, but... congrats. Are you gonna name drop anything, or can you do that yet? Uh, I don't, I don't think so, I'm not sure. Okay. They're shooting the pilot right now, and then I was originally gonna be in the pilot, but because of, uh, stuff that happened with, like, the coronavirus, they ended up having to rewrite a lot of stuff, so I got moved to episode three, and then I'm gonna be, it's supposed to be, like, a regular from that point forward. Don't, don't it lie sounds to like us, you though. can't talk your, about your that. Your contract was too expensive. <laughs> no, I just I don't know how much I'm supposed to say here and there. Not, it's not even crazy. It's something. It's something wild. It's nothing like crazy, crazy by any means. But like, you say that now. <laughs> I mean, nah, sure. Nah, I I'm guess. Just, I'm just fucking. With you. <laughs> I, I get it. It just sort of happened, like most things in my life. But yeah, in uh, the game, if you have a book. Yeah, I don't. Oh, okay. That day. Yeah. Are you able to order them yet? I can send you the bells. I don't know. I I I have no clue. I have I don't have it open in front of me, dude. Oh, okay, that's fair. What do you need it for? I need it to make a wallpaper. That's a bunch of. It's basically like a like a library wallpaper. Oh, you're making library. Okay. Are you are you looking specifically for like books that are like open on their like 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 you can stand up on the spine? No, no, no. It's just it's the item called book. Uh, but you need ten of them to uh to make the create wallpaper. to to make the wallpaper. Yeah, and then it it's the wallpaper just looks like a bunch of bookshelves inside of a room. Mm, yeah, I'm pretty sure I have like a pile of books, but I don't think I remember ever getting like, a single book. No, that's fair. I can order one, I just didn't want to have to wait for it, if I could help it. Yeah. I ate that fire team. What? Claws. Nice. I even leveled up.
Huh, well, if I do it that way, no, that wouldn't help at all, actually. I think I'm gonna start making star garland and just, like, put it all over my fucking island. You have what? Star garland. Star garland? Garland. Oh, star garland. Okay. Yeah, it, it's a cool item, and it looks really good in certain areas. Okay. See those hacked uh, star fragment trees? Yes, I kind of want one, but then at the same time, like, I don't want to fuck up my game, so... Yeah. was not meant to be. Nope. I heard playing Settlers of Catton. Who is? You are? Oh, no, one of the board games in the in Animal Crossing looks like that. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Settlers of Catan? Yeah. Catan. Yeah, it's Catan, bro. I mean, maybe to you. <laughs> it's pretty fun. I enjoy it. Oh, hey, he's online, by the way. Oh, sweet. Let me, uh, invite him into the chat. We could play some Overwatch in GTA at some point to today. Sure. Oh, also, message me as soon as you're online on Tuesday for the event so that I can jump on with invite you. Invite him already. <laughs> I'm trying to. I need to get to the right spot. Oh, did you? Wait, no. He's playing some... Yeah, so it doesn't matter what he's playing. <laughs> but yes, he is playing some Japanese game. I don't know what it is. Well, I don't want to say it was Japanese. It could be any foreign game. Maybe he's playing a Indonesian game. Because I think those are Japanese characters. There he is. Hey. Hello. Hi. Hello. What's up, dude? Okay, so let me tell you why the... The what? I don't know. I had, I had somewhere I was going, and then it just fell apart. Oh. Me too, bro. <laughs> me too. <laughs> uh, I was going to point at a movie on my shelf and be like, let me tell you why this protagonist... Is the, is, best, is the best, but then I pointed, but then I pointed to the like shelf where it's nothing but Godzilla movies, and I was like, oh, <laughs> could you name me one Godzilla protagonist? <laughs> I want to uh, hear one of them. I can't remember any of their fucking names. <laughs> I know so that's, no. why, that's why I want to tell you why Brian Cranston. <laughs> I don't even remember his character's name. It's just it's Brian Cranston. <laughs> that's all you need. That is his name. That is, that is his name. <sighs> but, yeah. Let me... Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Alright. That's good. Well then, yep, we're gonna still present... Uh... Keep doing that. Uh, and <clears throat> each round, we'll present a character, see if they work out, um... I know Michael said he has 18 different characters ready and waiting. Okay, I have uh, like three ready. So, so like, if I pick something that you guys are going to use, just tell me. I'll just grab something else. Okay. Uh, so, of course, uh, actually, I'm going to cross that out because we'll 
I, I forgot. I'm do I, I always do a different method of choosing the numbers this time. So this time, uh, let's see. We've done dice rolls. We've done just choosing. Uh, we've done completely random. And we've done via uh, random number generator. So this time we're going to do it um, via a... Round robin. Just fucking go ra around. But, uh, that would be clockwise. Round robin would be each person takes on each other. <laughs> well, yeah, that's what we have to debate it. We have to actually All set right, up I'll the debate. All right, fight Axton. Okay, <laughs> let's do it. Uh, now let me tell you why... Brian What's trans... Fuck, I don't remember the protagonist <laughs> from Con Skull <laughs> Island either. Just dox himself. <laughs> What's your address again? All right, so well, if we're gonna... all fighting each other. I need to know where to show up. <laughs> okay, let me let me try this one more time. Let me close my eyes. He's gonna point and try to pick one. Okay, let me tell you why Batman from Tim Burton's Batman. Hey, that's a great Batman. <laughs> that's dude. actually a good pick. Yeah, that's no kidding, Batman. dude. That's good bat. That's good Batman. Wow, uh, boo, lame axe, and you got a good pick. <laughs> I'm staying away from superheroes, but. But like, there's some pretty good ones. You just gotta. Yeah, there are. You just can only use them on their movie merits. Like, I actually heavily considered uh, Logan. That's a good one. That, that was that's really actually about one I looked too. at in my show. Yeah, like, like honestly, he, he in in some cases he's actually I'd say better than the comic book version. I think only Logan is like the only Marvel comic movie I own. It's a damn good like, one. Like, actually, that's the only one I have of the Marvel movies uh, they're okay. live action so uh i guess we'll, we'll do our little little uh introduce everybody so of course lucky red is myself uh we got a um uh pearlescent pink yeah uh we got uh we we didn't come up with a subtext for yours but i knew you were aluminum aluminium mr axeman but we Aluminium. always just call you. We just kind of call you Axeman, so I guess Axeman is pretty much just what we call you. <laughs> That's fine. Anal uh, aluminium. Alu, 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 alu. I see. I can't. Aluminium. I can't even say it that way. Yeah. Like it's just Dude, so weird. Do you know to me. how fucking painful it'd be to have some aluminum in your anal? I didn't mean it that way, but sure. <laughs> He's not wrong though. It'd be very painful. Yeah, especially liquid like molten aluminum. Yeah. <laughs> she would just go in. Could you just uh, molt? Could you make molten aluminum? With, like, I don't you know if that if would you just hot enough, but it's kind of. I don't think it would just melt though. That's what I she think, said. I think yeah, aluminum. Every like metal, a... pretty much every metal, has a melting point. So yeah. Yeah. Man, I cannot. Oh. It's just aluminum's is probably absurdly high since you. Oh, I got Blade Runner in the mail today, so I'm Which finally one? gonna be able to watch Blade Runner, just the original. That's good. <laughs> Twenty forty nine's never... really good too. Yeah, I've heard. I've actually, heard. I have a, I, I have a, I have a pick from that. I gotta actually watch this one so I can know what the fuck all these unicorns and okay, tears so in the rain time, are about. Uh, our order will oh. be chosen via via uh, roulette wheel. Uh, so I'm gonna. So spin we're the wheel. not going to do a debate. We're not gonna have <laughs> since there, there's there's four of no. us here. Yeah. We could round robin it and decide which ones get on the list by virtue of who wins each debate. Well, we've pretty much changed the fact that uh, everyone who presents has a chance of being on the list. It's just based on points afterwards. That's fair. That that way, like, there's pretty much no argument that everything that deserved to be on the list is definitely on the list. Yeah. Uh, also, Zach. Yeah. Aluminum melts at one thousand two hundred and twenty-one degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, it's hard to get it that hot. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I'm gonna spin the wheel. So the first one who will be presenting is, uh, it's me. Hey. Hello. So, Red will go first, and I will be presenting one of my all-time favorite movie characters, uh, Indiana Jones. Okay. Fucking Indiana freaking Jones is absolutely spectacular. I mean, I talked last time about how great Nathan Drake is, and all of that greatness comes from the fact that he's pretty much just video game Indiana Jones. Uh, you have an actual archaeologist 
who's got a badass whip, great look, and honestly, Harrison Ford's best character. Harrison Ford's pretty good. And, yes, like, I mean, yeah. like, you can say what you want about Han Solo, sure, he's spectacular, this and that, but, dude, Indiana Jones is, like, that's, like, best, that's Harrison Ford at his best. Now, you remember who was going to play Indiana Harrison Jones Ford? originally? Uh, was that a Stil was supposed to be a Stallone picture? No, it was supposed okay. to be Tom Selleck, the star of Magnum P.I. Huh. Oh, God. That was, yeah, that wouldn't have worked. I, I am glad they, that didn't happen. Actually, uh, I feel like um, Harrison Ford is a quite a few picks you could make for great protagonist absolutely for <laughs> blade runner <laughs> uh <laughs> blade runner uh, indiana jones uh i'm sure there are others I mean, even just those honestly yeah even those those are great choices man um so one of uh when he's getting well, frantic all right so our next pick is now, I have a question before yeah. then, though. Do you okay. prefer old, tired Harrison Ford, or do you prefer young, still kind of tired Harrison Ford? Oh, young, still kind of tired. Young, tired. Yeah, 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 young, yeah, young, tired. All right, so uh, Axeman, <laughs> you, you will be number two. Okay, well, I've only got, like, two in mind right now, so okay. let's I'm... go with... Yeah. Let me talk about why... Ashley Williams from the Evil Dead franchise is one of the best protagonists. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Shit, he's he amazing. He is my favorite movie protagonist, actually. I'm kicking myself for that. In that, in I'm each Evil Dead movie, much. you kind of see a progression of just the this teen going out, getting this young adult going out, getting drunk with his friends in the cabin, and he has to rise up and actually fight all these monsters and deadites and eventually grows a character to where he becomes tired and obnoxious <laughs> and becomes too fucking full of himself after all of this and starts throwing around his quips and that he actually fucks up and fucks up the entire future in Army of Darkness by just being too arrogant but he still rises up and tries to fix these mistakes regardless and it's that <laughs> unlikely hero that sort of Hunters. Man, that despite being incredibly flawed, despite being really full of himself, he still rises to the occasion. Yeah, Ashley Williams. That's why I. It's still just fucking hilarious as the most movies go on. Bruce Campbell is at just the best. Then, would that have worked Bruce without Campbell? Bruce Campbell? Oh uh, no. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, I don't know. Yeah, no, I don't think either. so. <laughs> yeah, I really um, don't. I think Bruce I Campbell like really makes that character. I feel like quite a lot of the characters on this list wouldn't work without their actors. The actors just generally bring so much to a lot of these characters. I, I think my other pick, too, is very actor-oriented. But Same. yeah, like, <laughs> I where, where's our top Bruce Campbell picks? Which one's the best Spider-Man cameo? <laughs> I can't, I can't. I literally can't think of another Bruce Campbell movie. <laughs> if, if I'm being honest, you can't. Spider-Man one to three have Bruce Campbell in them. Uh, who's he playing? He's those? in. He because he's in like every Sam Raimi movie. Oh, uh, I mean, yeah. He does, oh, so he's just like a cameo. in Spider-Man one. He is the the brain announcer for the wrestling match. Is he really? I never yeah. noticed that. In Spider-Man so two, he's the um, he's the usher. For the theater, and Spider-Man Three, he is the he's the restaurant waiter. Huh. I like the idea of him being Usher. Okay, he's just he's just just just, just famous just musician Campbell Usher coming out. Like <laughs> my confessions. These are my confessions. <laughs> all uh, I can, all I could can. I mean, Bruce Campbell's always also like Robin Hood and Xena. Not not Robin Hood. What the fuck is he's basically in, like Robin Hood in Xena Warrior Princess? Yeah, he's in Xena Warrior Princess. Yeah, he plays Robin Hood in Xena Warrior Princess. <laughs> okay. No, he's not. He's basically Robin Hood. <laughs> okay, he he just plays some it's dude good. who's just pretty much. I mean, that show is not good. It does not hold up at all, which is unfortunate. Because I used to love that show when I was younger. It's it's some dumb campy shit. So. You see the other one, fucking Hercules. That shit's awful. The Hercules TV show. <laughs> yeah, Her that's Zeno. No, Zeno. it's not. It is amazing. <laughs> Zeno is a spinoff of it. Of it fucking it's... Aphrodite and her goddamn theme song. 
I don't remember it, honestly. <laughs> oh, every time she shows up, there's a chorus people go, Aphrodite, 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 Aphrodite. Oh, God. I need to go fucking rewatch the couch to love. <laughs> it's wow. amazing. Every time she shows up, the goddess of love. Yeah, so no, should that's... I watch? Should I go rewatch Hercules, or should I finally yes. watch Buffy? Because oh, I've never Hercules. seen Buffy. <laughs> Disappointed. It's still my favorite scene ever. The fact that he actually just read his feeling on the script. Out loud, and he just screams. Wait, wait, wait. What is this from? Oh, there's a scene in in Hercules where they just oh, left it in, where he the disappointing. Oh yeah, yeah, where he just screams at the top of his lo- like he says, uh, "No, <sighs> disappointed." <laughs> oh, it's it's bad. It's like it's actually awful. <laughs> yeah, Bruce Campbell's good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I like how you went for managed. As it was, the, no, just Bruce Campbell. Is my pick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Boba Hotep, man. I never actually saw that movie. Me it is I want to. okay. It is fine. Um, I mean, sometimes all the movie has to. He does a surprisingly good Elvis impression, but since it's Bruce Campbell, I can never stop ignoring that it's Bruce Campbell. <laughs> Oh, he's also the mayor in Claudia and Chance of Meatballs. I know. Is he really? Saw that. Yeah. The only other thing I remembered him being in was uh, Burn Notice. He is also in Burn Notice. Oh, and he's going to be in the new Doctor Strange movie. Oh, nice. As Ash Williams. Because <laughs> Sam Raimi is also fucking directing the new... I am legitimately excited about that though, because it's Sam fucking Raimi. I love Sam Raimi. It could be cool. <laughs> yeah. Um. But that, right. that is an actual rumor that he plays Ash, because as you remember, this is a multi-dimensional movie. Yeah. It'd be and amazing. Ashley they might Williams just have him in there for a second as a cameo as Ash. Yeah. Ashley Williams has been in the Marvel universe. And indeed was part of the catalyst for the entire zombie outbreak in the Marvel Zombie Universe. Really? No. Really. I wonder I mean, if he's, he had uh... his comics where he's going up against Alien and Predator and stuff. Yeah, that's pretty mm-hmm. par for the course is the horror uh, versus movie. The, uh, the big one. I don't know if he actually fought Alien and Predator, but he fought Freddy and Jason, and that was yeah, a really big comic works. series. That's yeah. who I met. And that got its yeah. own TV show. I think he's supposed to. I think they're no. talking about doing a Michael Myers, too. Uh, I don't know, well, maybe. Well, Yellow, uh, you're next. Uh, I'm gonna go with, uh, I think his name is, let me say, make sure I get the name right. Yeah, Sing. I'm gonna uh, go with Sing. From... It's from the movie Sing by Illumination? No, oh, Sing. You know, everyone knows Sing. The famous Yeah, the city. Illumination movie. Yeah. No. He's a he's a he's a guy. He's down on his luck. He just travels with his brother. He fights off a, a, a notorious gang. Uh, becomes a martial arts specialist. This sounds uh, a lot like the Illumination picture scene. Uh, gets <laughs> peed on at one point, and then at the end of the movie, opens a candy shop. Uh, yeah, scene. this is the, this is the, the protagonist from scene. Kung Fu Hustle. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yep, didn't know that one. You don't really... Oh. <laughs> I, I think Tayshawn's is trying to hide that he watched Sane by Illumination. <laughs> That's Have you guys never seen Kung Fu Hustle? No. It's on my list. No, I don't I, do a I, lot of Kung Fu movies. I, 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 oh my <laughs> I know that's more yeah. comedy. I've, I've seen Kung comedy, Fu Hustle. But... I, I barely... Mean... I barely remember the main character, though. <laughs> I and remember he, he, every other character but the main character. <laughs> what? You need to rewatch it then. You weren't watching the right movies. You don't remember the right main character. I they don't. The, I... Dude, the be- the best part in that movie is like the initial fight in the small town, where they have like the, chi- the Chinese vampire guys come out. <laughs> oh, it's not. That that shit's cool. And then and then the bar, the bar fight was cool with the with the granny. 
in the old the man. The entire movie is just the best. I love that movie so much. I don't know. It doesn't it's sound like Kung Pao, a... so I don't know if I can agree. <laughs> I fucking hate Kung Pao. I, so I have much. to admit, I I like rewatching Kung Pao more. Kung Fu Hustle is good, but Kung Pao is just so fun, dude. This is why Steve Odekirk is. Yeah, dude. He's, he's uh, anyways, my main character is Sing. My, that's my okay. first pick of Sing. Yeah, yeah, I know yeah. he's not gonna get anywhere on the list, and someone's seen the fucking movie. Say, yeah, I, but I, I, he John, <laughs> I have seen the movie. Yeah, and he doesn't like him. It sounds like he doesn't. He he's seen the movie. He doesn't know him. <laughs> That's what it does sound. Like. He's like, God. <laughs> All right. Uh, Which tells me that he's not that great. My, what, what about you, Michael? What you got? So I'm gonna pick Carrie White from Carrie. Oh, uh, that's a good pick. Yeah, she's the one um, who gets blood like thrown sister, on her and uses telepathy, right? Yes, yep, that one. Uh, basically, a uh, girl grows up and uh, she gets her period, and when she gets her period, she gets psychic powers. It's, um... Actually, oh! A, uh, it's yeah. an allegory, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, <laughs> she, uh... It does a good job of uh, showing... She's, uh, as a protagonist, she's less someone that really does... works on her own, like, like, uh... She's less of a doer and more of a reactee, and I know a lot of people say that that makes for like not such great protagonist. But for her, she's just so it's just so easy to like if you've ever been like bullied in school, it's easy to like get in her shoes, especially with the power fantasy of being able to fuck up your uh, um, your bullies. But um, aside from that, I mean. You really get the, it's just really interesting to see uh, the way this protagonist goes from powerless to powerful. Um, and also a lot of the stuff she has to deal with, like her abusively overbearing religious mom. Yeah, that's probably the worst one. <laughs> I, I do have to say oh, that yeah. I actually... The protagonist works really well in that type of story. Yeah, exactly. And it's... They've been just kind of doing nothing. They had to f be fed up with the abuse, and that's why when you do get to see the power fantasy lived out, like, it is satisfying. Yeah. I mean, maybe for you guys, I was like, oh, God, this person is, <laughs> like, this. they probably deserve it, but, man, she's, like, kind of fucked up. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> no doubt. I mean, it's a, it's a Stephen King thing. So, the protagonist is generally going to be fucked up in some way. Yeah. So, who's going to nominate the car from Christine? <laughs> Christine? Please do yeah. this accident, actually. Who, who's who's going to pick Herbie from Herbie Fully Loaded? <laughs> <laughs> why, why is it specifically that one? Why can't I pick the... Why can't I pick the Love Bug 5 with Bruce Campbell? <laughs> Damn, you got you, all, you got all these Bruce the... Campbell movies down, dude. You guys are going down a dark dude, path that leads of course. to Lightning McQueen. Also of course, unrelated, but Tay, you should definitely look up the Dragoon Mercy skin that comes out on Tuesday, because that shit's really fucking cool. I was going to, but I'm just sort of waiting on seeing all the months until Tuesday. Alright. Because, man, these new skins are dope. I'm very excited. Oh, I love all of them so far. Say Dragoon? Yeah. <laughs> That's like my word. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's the my word. Invented the word dragoon. <laughs> it's on all of his like uh, if, uh, if gaming accounts. Up, if you look up uh, dragoon in a dictionary, <laughs> there's just a picture of Axton smiling. <laughs> from it's his, it's uh, literally his from Facebook his picture, but it like it, 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 no no it's straight up his Facebook Jokes picture and it updates every time he changes your pictures. Were you? No, I, was, so I thought. Cool. Wait, I thought, but I was there. <laughs> no, I mean like in the in the yearbook. I wasn't in oh, any of the yearbooks. Weird. But you have seen your pictures, correct? I mean, I guess they exist. He technically they're, does, they're but they the were dictionary. not taken by his school. They're That's taken fine. by his mom. They're in the dictionary. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> then they get updated every year. Uh, so my second pick, round two, is absolutely another character that again just would not work without this actor. This character okay. would actively be bad, and it's Rocky Balboa. 
Mm. Because uh, the Rocky mm-hmm. franchise is one of my favorite movie franchises of all time. Pretty much until the MCU, that was my favorite film franchise. And it still is my second favorite film franchise. Even with Rocky Five, I still haven't seen Five, actually. Or Balboa. <laughs> So, yes. <laughs> Dude, Balboa... <laughs> I hear Balboa's we, okay, at least. We've been supposed... You own Balboa. <laughs> I also own five. I own all the movies, <laughs> thanks sit to you. Sit down and watch. I own yeah, so sit down and watch I them. I, I, dude, Dude, I'm like way don't behind even on start. This. I own so many. I haven't seen. So I'm not sure which one it is, but one of these two pictures is actually the picture next to uh, Axton uh, or next to Dragoon <laughs> in the dictionary. <laughs> uh, the one on the right. But I just love his character. The one on the right. He's, yeah. Zach, he, I just sent it to the chat. Okay, so he's down. He's a down and out. God damn it. He's a. a, a, a... What's with you taking <laughs> pictures of me all the time? <laughs> That's at work, you, and you're just taking you, pictures of me. I love that you made them black and white, too, as if they were in, like, the book. <laughs> That's fantastic. Uh, Why? Are, are you just taking pictures of me all the, the time at work? <laughs> you no. were, you saw me. I'm clearly in your face. Don't, why would you not I don't know what you're that? doing on your phone. It's not like you're holding, like, a fucking 10 millimeter and going smile at You look, like, then. directly at... No, yeah, like, right, at right. him on the second shot, but, uh... So, so Rocky Balboa, <laughs> I just love his evolution as a character. He starts off as this old boxer who's down on his luck because he's never had his ba- his chance. His chance to be the guy. That looks like an album cover, in my opinion. Yeah, a little bit. Um, so when he's finally given that shot, he runs with it, he, try- he makes it work, and he gets his one match. And after that, he was ready to retire. But what happens... He gets dragged into into a championship match that he never wanted because Paulo Creed just couldn't accept a draw or like a point victory, a shallow victory against this nobody. And after he wins, he becomes a champion. He can't accept being a like this rich like man essentially, like trying to live his life this way because it's just not him. He's just like a regular everyday Joe. And then he has to avenge the death of his manager and the, the death of his best friend against a against Mr. T and against a Russian sympathizer Dolph who Lundgren. he then yeah do, then Dolph he's Lundgren. not a, a sympathizer he is Russian you're right but they def, but he defeats him and solves co- communism and wins the Cold War <laughs> which is literally he what does, happens in Rocky IV which is why it's so it, spe- he does it for Paulie's robot. Yeah, he do. <laughs> he does it for his buddy Pauly, who he bought a robot at the beginning of the movie. It's, Rocky IV is great, also, by the way, <laughs> for all the best reasons. It's also the inspiring story of a man with fetal alcohol syndrome rising up <laughs> to have even more brain damage from boxing. Yeah. Dude, I, uh, but then I, he grows from that to become a trainer and enjoys retirement, but he can't accept it because all these fucking kids who keep dicking around and trying to do things the wrong way because they don't understand that it's not about how hard you hit. It's about how you it's about get how hit, hard you can get hit and, and you keep, keep moving get, forward. Get, you keep, keep moving up, forward. And you yep. keep moving forward. You keep, keep moving forward. <laughs> uh, get your boxing gloves on. <laughs> now get your boxing gloves on. So... Uh, but well, the, the, the end fight. of the, the, end of the, the fucking restaurant. movie where it's like it's not about the fight, and then he fucking beats the shit yeah. out of the guy in the alleyway. <laughs> yeah, which is why that that movie's terrible. Like, there's no question that's a bad movie. But Creed, funny enough, does essentially what the point of Rocky Five and Six is, but way better. Where he actually becomes a coach that is far more believable and plays into that role spectacularly. I actually think Balboa is okay. You need to get I have heard, watching I, Balboa. I haven't seen Balboa. I have heard that I've one's heard okay. I do plan to see... I plan to watch 5 and Balboa, but now, I've actually heard is, Balboa is actually okay. What happened to Paulie's robot? Creed's, we never I, I figured know. that we out. Never, we never found that out. Uh, but Creed and Creed 2... Creed 2 is pretty good. I, I did like it, but Creed 1 was spectacular. It was one of my favorite movies, especially in like so, terms of a soft reboot. That is an incredible movie. So, is the real Steel universe the same one as the Rocky universe, or is it like an alternate time loop where Paulie's robot went on to <laughs> to become robotics? a famous boxer? <laughs> yeah, that could be. That could be. That would explain why Hugh Jackman's there. Yo, Adrian, what? put some boxing gloves on. Hugh Jackman's on a robot. in the movie Real Steel. <laughs> He's the star of Real Steel. 
I know, I know that, but why does it explain why he's there? <laughs> That's the joke. That wasn't it, why doesn't, I said what. it doesn't at all. That's the joke. Yo, Adrian, I, I tried putting boxing gloves on all, on but... Polly's robot here. No, Rocky, that's gonna disrupt the time space continuum. <laughs> oh no, Adrian, look out! <laughs> and then he just he just morphs into you, Jack, man. <laughs> and thus Logan was born. Yeah. Logan Paul. Yeah. And then see, That's then we just see we just explain the. Watch me make these bad pick videos of these bodies. <laughs> <laughs> I like that he still has. He just all sounds like. That's <laughs> <laughs> so not Hugh Jackman. He's just fucking Stallone still. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not actually Hugh Jackman. Rocky it's is just a Stallone. Got it, is Stallone like the Doctor regenerating now? <laughs> Except oh, dude, every body, love he that. still has Stallone's St voice. Stallone will yes. never fade. <laughs> He's always he he's just reincarnates. He doesn't die. Fucking imagining like Matt Smith talking like <laughs> Stallone. That would be so fantastic. Dude, give me some fucking fish sticks and custard. <laughs> Damn <laughs> kids, <laughs> never understand it. What it means. The media. <laughs> so all right, X Men. Who's your round two pick? But okay, I still stand. I... Also, so never would work without Stallone. By the way. Yeah. Um, my right, pick. Back, one second. You can go ahead and make your pick. Okay, so it it's Ripley from Alien. An alien. Uh, nice. she, she she was a she was someone I could say. She was one of my. She's a she was a. Pick I I'm I figured that was gonna be on a bunch of people's list. Yeah, I was but... holding. She was actually the first one on my list. I was like, I'm gonna hold off because I want other people. Yes. Yeah. So. so... Ripley from Alien Resurrection is a very important character. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Specifically, only Alien Resurrection. She can play basketball really good with those alien genes. <laughs> okay, so really though, Ripley is... In a time where a lot of movies were about, like, bravado and a bunch of action, like, male action heroes, like we had her commandos and our stallones like ripley was the first like really badass woman that we got as a main character and she kind of has a similar arc to, this is the kind of arc where, like where i do like to see these kind of weaker characters like ashley williams or ripley go from just being you don't even know that they're going to be the main character until they rise up to the occasion to actually make it through these horrible situations and then, as you see her progress throughout the various movies, excluding, like, Resurrection, probably. <laughs> like, what do you, mean? you really she does gain progress. an appreciation for these characters and seeing, <laughs> and seeing where they end up. We just weren't so. ready for that evolution of her character. <laughs> no. So, well, yeah, Ri yeah. Ripley's Don't you mean her. the resurrection of her character? Yeah. <laughs> no. You're right. He's They're... kicked off the stream. No, uh... <laughs> so... I, I agree with, uh, actually one of the things, cause now I've only seen one and two, I haven't gotten to two, uh, three and four yet, because I've been told don't, but I will oh. eventually. Yeah, go, go um, watch them. I, yeah, I am going to, because I, I, I love this franchise. So, another kind of cool thing about her, <laughs> considering the time she came out, is not only did they basically, yes, first movie's a horror thing, but I mean, she, is not only was she coming out as like a badass female character, but they didn't really masculinize her so much. Yeah, you know what I mean, That's she true. was always. I mean, yes, she got to do her, you know, badass the ass kicking, but she was never really just a dude with boobs or anything like that. You know what I mean? She was. Yeah. You know, some of the later ones, you know, she's I, a mother. I feel has, especially her relationship with Newt and aliens yeah. kind of sends that home. And not only that, but she, uh, again, she. Uh, another thing is that she really kind of goes from the first movie. Um, they ha you have a hero who isn't uh, who both makes decisions logically and isn't afraid of making an unpopular decision. I mean, that whole quarantine thing. She's kind of the only person who was like, "I don't care if he's been if he's our crew member. We can't let him on. Like he's been compromised." with well, who knows what on this spaceship and no one listens to her and alien starts hey speaking of quarantine am i right ha huh? this yeah, is gonna uh, date uh. this <laughs> <laughs> 
truly, Ellen Ripley was a soothsayer. <laughs> See, that, that, that's my second pick. So, yeah. um, and that's why the dog xenomorph from Alien 3 <laughs> <laughs> is the best the antagonist. Wh which one do you prefer, the ox or the dog? Uh, the dog, because that's the one we got. Well, we got the ox in some of the scenes, though, because they can't decide how big the alien is <laughs> half the time. <laughs> are, are you aware of that, Michael? No, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Only, all I really know about Alien 3 is, like, prison ship and, um... <laughs> yeah, you that, got it. That's uh, it. <laughs> David Fincher directed it, but, like, the studio kept taking it... Well, studio kept taking it away from, not only control away from him, but, like, it had been rewritten, like, four fucking times before it even got to him. It took him four, four times? Years. Four? <laughs> you think it was only rewritten four times? I was going to say eight, and I was like, that's probably not it. No, it no, was, it like, over... Four years. It was 14. Was to get the script. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just to get the script almost four years. Yeah. So, in the movie originally, in the original cut, and the Xenomorph came out of an ox. However, mm. later, they decide we're going to have it come out of a dog... So half the time the xenomorph is way bigger, and depending on which cut of the movie you watch, the xenomorph comes out of the ox or the dog. Oh my god. And so they can't decide which one is which. So sometimes it's, it's larger than a human, in some scenes it's smaller than a, I, a, like a sewer grate. I think aside from some other things, like that's why I kind of like Resurrection a bit more than 3. Most people because resurrections thing. Resurrections just stupid. The three three has interesting things. Like, yeah. do you care about spoilers for three at all? Not really. I mean, I'm gonna watch it eventually, but I've never been super spoiler averse. Every main spoilers. character that survived in two dies. In aliens oh, dies at the beginning of three. Yeah. 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 So people are pissed off about that. That was an awful decision. <laughs> Hell, um, she, Ellen Ripley, it's actress, also was pissed about the, that because she wasn't supposed to be the yeah. main fucking character. No, she wasn't. Yeah. So, it's kind of like a bunch of the idea of being on this oppressive prison planet can be interesting. It can be cool. It yeah. wasn't as cool as some of the original ideas, but you can. It, the movie does succeed in making you feel really oppressed in this environment with Ripley, but it's just. <laughs> Most of the characters are way too similar. There's nothing really interesting on that. The script's a mess. The script is awful. Yeah. And it just resurrection hear... just is stupid. I hear resurrect. Ooh, I'm sorry. I hear uh, resurrection and three basically in the fandom. It's generally a toss up as to which one you like better than the other, but they're both considered not that great. Considering how much I like stupid movies, I prefer resurrection way more. Yeah, I think that's how it goes. Usually people who don't mind the camp, like Resurrection, and people who hate, like, really don't like campy shit, uh, probably go more towards keep, 3. <laughs> keep in mind, I also generally enjoy Predator 2 a lot. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Which involves street street voodoo cults and Gary Busey. Oh my god. Is Predator 2 that bad? I heard it was alright. Predator, no, Predator 2 is fine. It's not very good. No. It's, 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 a, it's, enjoyable. it's a dumb movie. It, it's, I really actually <laughs> like Predator 2. It's, it's probably think... the best Predator sequel. Yes, Which that's means true. nothing. Yeah. But I don't like it, and I, I think like Predator is the three... best Predator sequel. Yeah, I, I, think... I also like Predators, and I don't mind The Predator, even though it's a dumb action movie. Oh my god, Pre Predators. The Predator's so god. bad. The Predator, the Predator is, is not the best but... Predator movie. Just yeah. th that one kill... For the Predators, crack me up, where he pulls the guy's Dude, side out. Specifically Gary... because Keegan Michael Key is in it. He was Gary very Busey funny. Gary is great. And... Apparently, someone calculated how much liquor Masako must have drank in Evangelion. Oh, God. So it is at least 1,478.25 liters of beer a year. Just by counting, like, the cans around the house? Or yeah, for is... every scene. <laughs> Though she's how do you know the, but, but like, uh, the only thing is, how do you know if those aren't just not the, the same, same can. beers? Are they just uh, not, are they not, like... Oh, they're like, just, like, gas station somewhere? bought, like, beers. So do you okay. think that if she drank a different amount in Reboot, it's gonna change things even more? 
Maybe. But yeah, apparently, in terms of how much, much she must have spent on it, cash. she would have had to have spent at least uh, $700 a month on liquor. Well, we don't know the alone. economy of the Evangelion yeah. universe. We yeah, but it, it's, it's basing it on uh, the type of alcohol she drinks. Because she doesn't just... She has at least, they say, 32 beer cans on this, like in her room like a scene. Uh, and then she also downs full bottles of liquor from time to time. Okay, so what was yellow? So next pick? is yellow. What's up, Tay? What's your what's your second pick? I am gonna go with, uh, and I might be getting his rank incorrect because uh, it's been a while since I watched the movie. Okay. But I know I'm getting his name right. I'm gonna go with Sergeant Nicholas Frost, um, from the wow. Hot Fuzz uh, movie. I right. knew I had to pick at least one it. of the pro tags from the uh, Edgar Cornetto, Wright uh, yeah, Cornetto yeah, trilogy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the Cornetto trilogy, and I decided out of all three of them, honestly, Nick is probably the best uh, version of uh, Simon. Oh man, I love King though. <laughs> fucking, fucking King is so great. No, Gary, King is great. Gary King. Gary fucking King. <laughs> There's the only one. one. Uh, Gary King. <laughs> I still need to watch that third He's movie. Like, Go ahead, me kill me. There'll always be another Gary King. <laughs> but you just, <laughs> you just said there was only one Gary King. I know what I fucking said. Fucking said. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they're both so movie. great they are and that's the problem both of those are definitely but the problem with the 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 problem with world's end is it's such a specific movie that it's you're either gonna love or hate it it's like very divisive i feel like people either love it or I, they hate it which baffles me because that's like my favorite one i fucking love that movie. same world's end is I, also my favorite one i still one need to watch it but hot, hot fuzz, fuzz is, is such, incredible like absolutely an incredible. amazing movie I feel I like Hot Fuzz. Hot Fuzz because I didn't like it, but I also didn't really know what I was getting into. Like, I watched it first, and I didn't even know it was like a... I didn't know what I was getting with it, you know what I'm saying? Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, of any of the movies that I would that show someone out of, like, his entire, like... Film frame. Direct yeah, yeah, all of his films, it's always Hot Fuzz. Like, I showed Hot Fuzz to my brother and my cousin Ambria, and they both really dug it. Is it the first half of Ant-Man? <laughs> is, that the, is that the one you show him? Yeah, the first <laughs> half of it. Uh, well, Yellow, why did you pick him? Um, out of all three of them, he is the least divisive. Uh, so I figured, uh, although he is one of my favorites of the three, which there's only three, so obviously like that, yeah. that's which ones are my favorites. Um, he has the best chance of actually appealing. Um, beyond that, I think he's a great character. He's just so fucking great he's like i don't know how to put it he's he is a uh a very anal by the books uh police officer but at the same time he's very caring he gets the job done and he'll uh he'll go against uh top brass if he has to because uh, at the end of the day what matters more to him than the rules is making sure that everything is done the right way yeah and isn't, that, right. isn't that why he's in such a shitty town he gets relocated because he is a great cop yeah. but like and yeah. even then, like, he's his, his relationship fell apart because he's so focused on his job. The only thing yeah. he has to care about is a plant at first. Oh, that's yep. right. Yep, and you that. slowly watch him uh, branch out and become best friends with, uh... God, what is his, what is his character's name? Um, fuck. <laughs> Nick Frost? I can't remember it. What's Nick Frost's no, 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 no. character's name? No, 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 what's, uh... Yeah, that's, no, that's that. I know, that's, that's the actor's name. Oh, is it? Yeah. When are, when it's are Nick Frost, Frost and Simon Pegg. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> you said you said Nick Frost's character at first, anyways. <laughs> oh, my bad. I meant <laughs> I meant Simon Pegg's character. Yeah. Okay. You fair. said Sergeant Nick Nicholas Frost. <laughs> I'm I'm curious yeah. if that's his name or if that's just <laughs> Nick no. Frost's name, the actor. <laughs> What's the, let me just look at this. Look up his name real quick. I'll laugh if he is Sergeant Simon Pegg and or if he's he's Nick Frost and the other one is Simon Pegg. <laughs> okay, so his name isn't Nick Nicholas Frost. It, it's uh, it's, it's Nick, Nicholas something. Nicholas Angel. Yes, it's I, Sergeant I Angel. I remember because of the angle thing. I literally have the Blu-ray right here. <laughs> I just Sergeant yeah. it. Angel. Okay. Yep, it so is. It is because they spell it Angel. What you said. <laughs> What are you talking about? It's Nick. A it's Nicholas Angel. Angel. Okay. Angel. 
Angel. Hot Fuzz, right by Hot Rod. What other hot movies can I get? <laughs> hot Shots, Part 2. Ooh, there you go. Electric Boogaloo. Always um, add the Electric Boogaloo. Never forget it. Never yeah, forget always. It. If it's a Part 2, it has to be Electric <laughs> Boogaloo. How many... Side note, how many of you guys have actually seen that movie? Oh, it sucks. I have I've seen Which it. one? It's not a very good well, movie. Hot Shots Shots or... No, no, no. Uh, 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 break, break Into, into electric, electric Boogaloo. Boogaloo. Oh, I have not it's, I oh, it's a great hot shot either. No, no, it isn't. I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's fucking Me boring. Hot Shot is like some kind of 80s There's comedy. I feel like it's it's like a... It's almost like a comedy take on Top Gun from what I've seen of it, but I don't... I haven't watched so it myself. So Break Into Electric Boogaloo is just the, is, is a movie about uh, this rich guy is trying to buy up this community center from teenagers, so they have to use dancing to win it back. It's a phenomenal movie. It's not. <laughs> there is one dance scene that's that's often cited for being great, and it's because it's choreographed really well, because they pull off some crazy shit in it, and that's it. Remember, what's your favorite dancing movie? Uh, I was going to say, God, like, the step up is... movies are great to just watch the dance scenes, and that's it. Yeah, dude. Just like, watch my. I, I don't. Like I, those I kind like of the. Films. I, I like the premise of Footloose enough to nominate it because the fact of liberating a town, thanks to a dancing Kevin Bacon, <laughs> is yeah. enough. I mean, that's that. See that that one. I, I hear is all is good. I haven't seen that movie. Um, but Pink, that's all right. Who, who's your next uh, pick? Mine. Yeah. Well, mine will be. Debbie from the illustrious Debbie Does Dallas. No, uh, I'm going with um, Agent K, not from Men in Black, but from Blade Runner 2049. Mm. I'm not going to go super in depth in this story because I know it's a fairly new and not a lot of people kind of really watched it. But um, he's a character who, at his core, is conflicted. He he he's a replicant. Like so, first off, whereas Blade Runner, the protagonist was. A human, maybe a replicant. We don't well, know. Yeah. Well, well. In this one, he's a replicant, but maybe he's a human. Uh, he goes through story, and um, as he goes through story, the question of is he really? Because he's like a replicant built to hunt down other replicants. Um, and as the story goes on, uh, I mean, his big question is, am I a replicant or am I like a person who has been like? brainwashed or something or is it something entirely different from even that and um, it's a really interesting take on um, like identity and knowing who you are and it, it does it it explores that concept a lot deeper than Deckard that does with Deckard than the first movie uh, the first movie was more about my opinion about showing that androids and replicants can be human uh, more so than is Decker a human? That's kind of more of almost like a post credits thing, if I remember correctly, or something. I don't know. No, but, Michael, I'm starting to think yeah. you like sci fi, neo future, identity crisis scenarios. Oh, 100%. Because last time you nominated Ghost in the Shell. Oh, 100%. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie to that. I just, I just, I love, I yeah. love really thinky sci fi movies. Have you played the Blade Runner PC game, by the way? No, I have not. You should check that. That is on GOG. They finally restored it, so... Nice. Yeah, I mean, that's basically my thing with him. Like I said, I, I don't want to go too in-depth into, like, his uh, stuff, because I wouldn't mind if you guys watched the movie. Cause it's I, I, I appreciate it. I need to sit down and watch Blade Runner this week, because I finally got it. <laughs> I've never seen it before. It's good. You'll, so. I think you'll, you'll probably like it, I would think. I was told I, I, I think wouldn't I... care for these movies, so I just haven't gotten the chance to check them out. Mm. I was told not enough action for me to enjoy it, and I'm like, well, oh, I yeah, know what Especially they're... 2049. It's like two and a half, three hours, and there's, yeah, there's gun shooting and stuff every now and then, but yeah, it's pretty cerebral. You know what the original has, though? It has unicorns, so clearly you'd love yes. it, Zach. Hell yeah. <laughs> now, do you know why the unicorn is probably there? No. Do I you know, know, Michael? 
I can't remember. It's been a while since I seen because it. Because sci-fi drugs. R Ripley Scott's last movie was Legend, where they had tons of oh, shots at unicorns. I thought, I thought, I thought uh, there was like a in-universe thing. You're talking yeah, about. no, it's just that they no, shot Legend and they had tons of unicorn shots, and so they're just like. I fuck actually it. did not know that he directed Legend. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Thanks, Ridley Scott. With Tim Curry. If we ever do a movie villains list, I'm probably going to put Tim Curry from Legend in there. Oh, I'm sure it's something uh, we got on the docket. Yeah. Like, we're talking about antagonists will definitely be a series we're going to talk about, too. Since we're almost done with protagonists, we only got one more after this one. So, um, so okay. now my, my third round pick... Uh, so I'm surprised we haven't talked about him yet, but another character who little just wouldn't work with a different actor. You had to have this guy, uh, dude. I'm presenting John Wick. Yes. Uh, um. Okay. Fu fucking Wick Fuck. is absolutely <laughs> incredible. Literally one of the greatest like main characters in a film. Literally, this film, these films would be awful without John Wick in them. Uh. hitman who is like a god tier hitman who just wants to live his life casually and relax when he finally meets his significant other but it all falls apart when she passes away so he has no choice but to try and live his life with his new dog that his fallen wife sent him however this asshole fucking steals his car and murdered his dog and deserved everything he fucking got <laughs> as he gets sl him and his men get absolutely slaughtered. John Wick's cool. Yeah, he's 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 definitely cool. I don't know if he's like Keanu Reeves had to play. Let's be real. John Wick's an amazing series and I love it, but a lot of its strength is the strong action scenes more than John Wick is specifically. Yeah, I, I think John Wick represents more of a desire to lash out and get revenge. Like, he is like, just a big revenge plot and desire to live this quiet life after that. Like, you can't. So. Like they're, they're amazing movies and he was definitely on my list of honorable mentions. So. He is very cool. No, what about what about fucking Bill and Ted? <laughs> That's the best Keanu <laughs> role. I don't know what his best role is now. I think about it. What I like him the best then. Uh, Bill and Ted's dope. It is. Neo's whatever. John Wick's dope though. <laughs> A point Break. <laughs> fucking Johnny, uh, whatever his uh, name uh, is. Uh, uh, speed. Yeah. <laughs> Um, alright, X-Men. Who's your round three? Um, uh, man, I didn't get, didn't think I'd get this far. Um, fuck. Do you want me to, do you want some stuff off my auto mentions list? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm looking, I'm trying to figure it out. That can go if you need more time. Um, yeah, go ahead real quick. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and nominate, uh, Daniel Hillard. Um, although this isn't my, his, it isn't my favorite uh, performance from this actor, it's definitely my, my top three. Um, I think it's just a real feel-good story about a dad who just really wants to see his kids uh, more than he gets to, and can just you, really loves them, and will do anything for them. the actor and movie? In the movie? Oh, yes. Bro, you need uh, to be telling the movies. Yeah, you're my, just... My bad. Uh, it's, uh... The actor is Robin Williams in Mrs. Doubtfire. Okay. Um, the character is Daniel Hillard, uh, or Mrs. Doubtfire, as I'm sure more well known. Um, I, uh, I I think it's one of my favorite Robin Williams performance. It isn't my favorite performance by him, and a couple honorable mentions real quick are just uh, some of Peter Panning uh, when he was Peter Pan, um, and also just him in Wood Dreams Make Up. Um, but... Specifically, this nomination is uh, Mrs. Doubtfire for Mrs. Doubtfire. Hell yeah. Uh, <sighs> well, then, uh, if you still do not have one, uh, Pink, do you got. Do you, what's your next one? I'm gonna go with. And I, Zach, I feel like you might have this, so just tell me. Uh, Max Rockatansky from Mad Max series? Uh, I do, but you can still use it. I have many more. No. 
Oh, okay. So, I just love this guy. You get to kind of, it's, it's one of those uh, other movies where you get to see, like, kind of a good guy go bad. Uh, he starts in the first movie as, as a Boring. pretty good... Fucking... <laughs> A little, yeah. <laughs> Cop who, with his own, like, uh, has a family and all that. And then you just get to see everything get slowly taken from him in the middle of an apocalypse. Like, and a kind of a slow apocalypse, too. The first movie's post-apocalyptic, but it doesn't feel very post-apocalyptic. And then as no, you go further like in the it... series, it gets worse. <laughs> it feels um, like it was Mad... shot at just, like, a local, like... Uh, Is Mad Max right 1, like, the most forgotten first movie? Mm, I yeah, don't know. I actually it's... really like Mad Max one. See, I hated um, it. I'll be real. I didn't like it at it. all. Because Mad Toe Max was a show a lot in America, it's a lot harder here. Because remember, the second movie is not called Mad Max. It was just called, called The Road, Road Warrior. Warrior. And it's spectacular. But, um... Oh, it is, but I, uh... I actually prefer the villain from one. <laughs> so, amazing. which... Um, which Mad Max are you specifically nominating? Well, though? I was nominating he doesn't, Mad Max he doesn't as a ha- character. Yeah, he doesn't have okay. to be there. You don't need to specify uh, which version of the character. It's just, it's just main yeah. character. Yeah. Um, he's probably at his strongest in 2 or 4 as a character. Um, uh, I was trying to remember where I was going with him. You're not going to nominate Beyond Thunderdome? Not even going to talk about it? I actually haven't seen it. That's the only one I've uh, seen. So it's hard for me to... You haven't seen it's... it? So you have seen Fury Road, though? I've seen Fury Road, Road Warrior, and the first one. I just haven't gotten around the three yet. Well, I'll say... Beyond Thunderdome is something. <laughs> one one I, is... I, mean... I thought one was boring, two is amazing, three is stupid and terrible, four is incredible <laughs> and just blew oh, yeah. me away with how fantastic it is. Oh, yeah. Um, um, he's super, I think one thing to, is he's definitely one of the more resourceful protagonists I see oh, in action uh, movies. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, I mean, he does more than just, like, action. That's why he's so just, resourceful. Just yeah, wait till you watch definitely... him see, oh, I was saying, just wait till you watch him fight Master Blaster. Yeah, oh, is very resourceful. <laughs> he has so many strategies and strategies. He tiny. High, t- high tier strategy. Do- doesn't he have Chinese, like, orphans help him? In it's, that movie, it's a bad movie. <laughs> like it's a simple fact. Um, that's a bad movie. Uh, hey, are you calling Master Tina Turner bad? Master yes. Blaster yes, is, she is a best, bad actress. Thing. Master Blaster is so great that they brought them back as an MKX character, and they suck. They're like one of the no, worst. No, they're new great. <laughs> Wait, they're almost as bad is, as the combat it... kids. So, it's Ferator. So, uh, F- Ferator in Mortal Kombat X is huh. literally Master Blaster. Huh. Yeah. If you're not oh, aware okay, of who Master Blaster, okay, is. so no, Master no. Blaster is j- it, in um, Beyond Thunderdome, is just a very tiny man named Master and his big beast man Blaster, and they are Master and Blaster. Yep. <laughs> and <laughs> Ferator in MKX is that, but a fighting game character. Yeah. Okay. I I was under. I just assumed because I know they like to pull things like. I wouldn't be surprised if they pulled Mad Max out as a Oh no, absolutely. They they totally would do that. Hell, um, Robocop's they... about to be the next DLC character. I know, that's like why I was thinking that. Did, was, Dude, was Ash gonna be one? There's rumors, but we'll, there's we'll we still have to wait and see. Um okay. Did you see how many dick shots you can do with Robocop? Yeah, uh, I saw one of them. And one of you them can... blows him up. <laughs> do, 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 it, it looks do, great. Do, do, I'm very excited. Um, anyway, that's so, Mad Max. I just like him. He's yeah, kind of resourceful. Um, more of a downfall so, protagonist. So I do actually have my pick. It was okay. really fucking tough, though. Okay. Because both of these are Toshiro Mifune roles, if you are familiar with who that is. Nope. No. So he's a very famous actor that played a lot of, in a lot of samurai movies, and among mm-hmm. other things. Like, he's in Seven Samurai, he... The two movies that I wanted to highlight, though, was Yojimbo and Throne of Blood. And ultimately, in terms of an interesting p- protagonist, I have to pick Throne of Blood, and it's kind of cheating, because he's just Macbeth. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, then I What's say it's disqualified for cheating. <laughs> What's his name? <laughs> Fuck, what is his name in that movie? <laughs> um, so, 
Toshiro Mifune and Throne of Blood. Okay. Um. You know, the Blu ray doesn't actually say the name of the character. We'll just call yeah. him Japanese Macbeth. <laughs> oh, wait. He, wait, no cast. <laughs> Do you not have... Okay, okay no, his name is Ta Taka... No, I'm looking at the Criterion manual here. Oh. His name's Taketoki Washizu. Okay. But we'll just call him Macbeth. Taki, from Japan. What? <laughs> Jetbeth. Hey, I didn't say the racist one. <laughs> <laughs> oh anyway. my god. Uh, oh, um, so like anyway, oh my god, okay, so, basically the reason why I didn't pick him in Yojimbo is while he's an interesting character, actually that may be my second, my fourth pick, but, so he won't um, explain it, so, yeah, okay. Okay, so anyways, in Throne of Blood, he, this man is a, he's coming back from war with a, good companion and he receives a prophecy from some old like spider lady witch who tells him oh yeah you're gonna be the emperor and he's like oh shit <laughs> thanks so spider he... lady <laughs> <Huh>. <laughs> yeah um so he goes and through eventual like madness of this prophecy ends up murdering the current, like, emperor after he already gains rank to become the new emperor and eventually in his madness kills his friend and falls to become a tyrant that everyone turns against and murders. And I think that kind of, like, Macbethian protagonist, the Machiavellian sort of, is just really interesting to me. So, Ta Takatoki Washizu is my third pick. Okay. Uh, Alright, well then I guess I'll flip it. It's my turn again. So, I'm gonna go with someone who I was 100% certain no one would bring up, but is an incredible main character. So I'm going with Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, honestly, like, in terms of Jim Carrey roles, I think Ace Ventura is one of the best. Uh, that's literally where Jim Carrey became the Jim, like, that's the Jim Carrey character uh, that he is in a bunch of different films. And when Are he you're is... You're not going to nominate the Riddler? <laughs> Riddler, he wanted to play the Joker, so he just did, but was named the Riddler. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, Ace Ventura Bet Detective, just this crazy man who wants to save animals, no matter what the cost, is an absolutely spectacular, just ridiculous, dorky character that is impossible not to instantly fall in love with. So, Axeman, who's your fourth pick? <laughs> man, I want to take back my third pick, because now I do want to pick Yojimbo. I mean, you can pick both. <laughs> They're yeah. two different characters. That's true. I just think that he's. I wanted variety, and I think in yeah. the end, they're just the um, same person. Doesn't even matter. <laughs> God damn it! Can let me look at my fucking Criterion, the cast list here to find. Yeah, so Kuobatake Sanjiro from Yojimbo. So we'll just call him Sanjiro for the sake of it. Um. So. The idea of the Traveling Ronin's always been a really fun one for me. And kind of the idea of this man just wandering into a town with a ton of problems. And through his own kind of obtuse yet reluctant way, he ends up rising to the occasion to sort of help save this town anyways. And in the end, he just wanders off. He just is doing his part as a person. And this kind of character, like... Yojimbo is the inspiration for Fistful of Dollars, and that one Pokemon episode with the ketchup and the Electabuzz. <laughs> yes, which is hilarious, but yeah. 
So, I still, cause I that, still need to see those three movie, those three westerns though. I haven't seen any of them. I need I've to watch seen, them. Um, the big one. Good that the They other are one. good. They are fantastic. I know, but I haven't seen them. <laughs> but I think they're also really long. You've also seen Yojimbo, which surprises me. I have, and it was really good. Yeah, so Fistful of Dollars is that, but with Clint Eastwood, which is also very good, yeah, and Clint very Eastwood's close incredible. to being my pick. The man with but no name. I mean, if you want I, a badass, like, it's kind of hard to beat that. I don't know, when you're a wandering samurai, that's pretty cool, too. Oh, yeah, no, absolutely. And especially the way that he... Like, he doesn't come off initially as a great guy. Like, he goes... He starts the movie going back and forth being like, Hey, because Yojimbo means bodyguard. So he goes off be around being like, Hey, I'll be your bodyguard if you pay me this much. And he basically just plays both these games in this town until they rip each other apart from the inside out. And he just picks off the stragglers. Which is fantastic. So I kind of like that kind of... You, you have this really tough-looking hero... Yet he uses all these, like, mental tricks and toys for everybody in such a fun way. And I think that's a great way to have that sort of cool protagonist. Yeah. Alright, Yellow, who's your fourth pick? Ooh. Um... I'm probably gonna go with Eggsy. From Ooh. the Kingsman series. Ah! That's a good pick. Yeah, I, uh... I really like him. I think it's a really good... I know it's like a common like trope, like, oh, the street kid comes up and becomes a, a stronger guy, part of the government. But uh, I think it's good. I think it was a good movie. I like his uh, I like his backstory. I like who he is as a character. He's a lot of fun. And I like that he never stops being... Even once he becomes like a Kingsman, he never stops being himself, you know? Is yeah. the He's sequel always... worth watching? It's a fun uh, sequel, but it's, yeah. no, it's not as yeah, good I've as I've heard it's original. generally good. It's, I haven't it, seen either. It is... But what makes it uh, so good Excellent. is that because of that movie, uh, Eggsy gets to become uh, fucking what is his name, the Rocket Man. Uh, Rocket like, uh, like the old movie, the, the Rocket that Man. Terry, Scene is really Terry good. Became, uh, played, uh, like the Disney movie Rocket Man, where he's it's Elton like John. Elton John, yeah. yeah. Elton John. Oh. Well, he's saying it's the actor that played Eggsy hey, is Egg the actor who's playing. Uh, but the, in that way, does that make him an interesting protagonist, though? No, 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 no. I'm just saying why you should watch the, first, he, the second movie. That, I'm uh, not, that, he, no, that's not his okay. was He was rewarded with anal sex at the end of the first film. So, you know, that's more than most heroes can say they've earned. And it was from <laughs> an actual princess. Wrong. Yep, that does happen. Uh... No, but I, but Elton, I'm, I could be wrong about this, but I'm pretty sure what uh, had been said is that the reason, uh... The main character. What was his name? Uh, Michael. Uh, Taron Edgerton, I think. The guy. Yeah, the one of the reasons Taron Edgerton ends up playing Elton John later on in his career is because Elton John and Taron er Edgerton met each other in the sequel to The Kingsman. Yeah. Oh. Okay. They both were in that film. And apparently they they really hit it off. Yeah. I, do, so... I still need to see. God, I still need to see Rocket Man too. Yeah, go a... go watch the original Rocket Rocketeer, right? <laughs> Rocketeer, very different. The flight movie. of the Navigator. That is, that is a comic book movie based on a man who finds a flight suit and uses a jetpack to fight Nazis. And you know what? That's a great movie. Is it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, <laughs> Zach well, sounds pretty unconvinced. <laughs> so, Pink, who is your fourth pick? I think I am gonna pick. Jackie Brown from the movie Jackie Brown by Quentin Tarantino. Mm -hmm. uh, nice. she's, I feel like she's probably my favorite out of all the Quentin Tarantino protagonists. Um, <clears throat> she is an airline uh, attendant um, who gets uh, she basically gets caught up in a uh, big kind of drug deal uh, type scenario. Gets rich. Uh, gets uh, hit by the uh, DEA and it's to figure out how to navigate her situation in a way that she both survives. Uh, she both survives the drug trade because the the DEA wants her to like uh, narc on them and not go to jail <laughs> for not narking on them. Um, she is a super capable 
uh, protagonist, um, lots of attitude, funny, resourceful, she's kind of got it all. Hell yeah. You still need to see that movie, that's like the oh, one Quentin Tanner movie I haven't seen. Oh dude, it's actually one of, I've seen everything except, uh, I think I haven't seen his eight. new one also, that's, those ones I, I haven't seen. That one, it's, devi that one's divisive to a lot of people, I like it. But if you're going in expecting it to be like one of the more violent Quentin Tarantino fests, you're probably not going to be. I uh, tend you might to be not disappointed. really it's... care about the violence in his movies. I think it's honestly his direction and stuff. Like that, I like I like yeah. Kill Bill, yeah. but I generally like his characters more than the violence in all of his See, movies. And that, then I think you'll like this because honestly, specifically. I just love watching Brad Pitt and Leonardo DiCaprio fucking act at each other in this movie. Their characters are really fun. Okay. Yeah, like, still, I think my favorite is still Reservoir Dogs. Same. Um, love it. Then I, it's, pro, it's Hateful yeah. Eight really close, because I, <laughs> Hateful Eight's See, that's one amazing. I haven't seen yet. So, Hateful Eight's long. It's a very long movie, but it's... I, I really that dig it. That has been a really divisive one. It feels like his last two have been recently have been like. I think like Hateful Eight hate is them. one of his best movies. I think people don't really care for it as much, maybe because it's another western after he just made a western. <laughs> and fair. this western isn't as like ridiculous <laughs> or actiony than Django, but. Because Such the entire movie. thing it just takes place like in a single location where Jane goes like this big western adventure. Mm -hmm. So. Well, and I, th well, and with I, I will say also with uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, it's kind of an aim. I will say it's kind of an aimless movie that feels like it doesn't have too much of a direction for most of it. So if you're one of those, also one of those people who needs the plot to really move you along, I feel like you'll struggle with it too. But if you just yeah. kind of like watching. Characters I, be characters. I sat the, down and watched Lighthouse yeah. recently. That oh, I love that. I, I can make it. Yeah, you're probably fine. Um, so my final pick will be. Uh, I I was torn between this and one other character. Um, I also so, love this one because I thought Zach, I, I know which it. one you're gonna pick, and it's the Godzilla protagonist, Matthew Project. <laughs> no, <laughs> it is. Absolutely going to be <clears throat> pick Godzilla? Ted Stryker. No, you couldn't pick Godzilla because he's not the protagonist. Is he a protagonist in any of his movies? He's a protagonist in some of his movies. Is it like one of them? He's a protagonist in a couple of them. Fair enough. But, uh, so yeah, so he's, um. So I'm picking Ted Stryker. He is uh... the main character of Airplane. Oh, okay. Um. <laughs> So he overcomes his PTSD, which causes him to have an extreme drinking problem, uh, <laughs> which he will constantly try and take a drink of liquor and throw it in his face, <laughs> throw it in his own face, which is still one of the greatest bits ever. Absolutely incredible. But he does have a lot of issues as a person, but he's the greatest pilot out there. He just can't get into the pilot seat because of his PTSD. However, when the going gets tough, he's able to just go in there, learn how to fly a plane that's completely alien to any military pilot because no planes are not exactly the same, and I'll say a commercial flight is very different than a military plane. But he instantly figures out how to fly it, flies it back, uses the autopilot for the rest of it, and is able to make it at the very last second, saving everyone on this crashing plane. So I picked Ted Stryker. Okay. The, the hero we need, but not the one we deserve. Uh, Alright, Axeman, uh, um, what's your final, final pick? Fuck. <laughs> I had one and I just... Oh, um... <laughs> hmm... Hmm. Oh. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm thinking because I want to really nominate 
the old boy himself, old boy, from old boy. Yeah, that's a pretty great one. His name is not old boy, it is... No, it is not. Oh, Odaisu. Odaisu. Yeah, yeah. So, Odaisu, again, it's a very revenge-driven story. Um, some people haven't seen this movie, they should... Yes. Yeah, I still need to watch it. Oh my god. You um, have to see I won't movie. say much, but the base basically this man has been locked up oh, I know the main for movie. several yeah. years. Well I gotta explain for the two viewers. Sorry, I forgot. I thought you were talking to me for some reason. <laughs> no, I I'm talking to the world right now. <laughs> he needs I them am to know. The world. The world. The world. And your world. <laughs> So he's locked up for so many years, and he doesn't know why. He's just locked into a room, and then one day he's let out. And his whole thing is to find out why and get revenge for it. And just this character, the way he's driven to this, and where revenge takes him just makes him a very interesting protagonist. And that's why I pick... Oh, oh boy. And for my... <laughs> For my honorable mention... Well, you can't say honorable mention yet, because we might get set. Oh, okay. That's true. Uh, so, Yellow, who is your final pick? Um, God, this is so difficult. Um, the let Michael go, because if he ends up picking one of the two that I'm going to say, then I can pick the other one. Okay. I promise you I'm not picking either of the ones you got. You don't uh, know that. My pick is... Tayshawn, all your picks have been very out there. <laughs> So my pick is Annie Graham from Hereditary. Damn it! Was that see? No, Wait. no I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, okay. Did you see it? No, I haven't seen that movie. <laughs> you should. Um, so she's an interesting one. She's not necessarily someone who's expressively likable as a protagonist, um, but what she is is she's an interesting look at a protagonist going through grief. Uh, that movie is basically that movie is a family drama, but with like a horror with horror elements thrown into it. So you'd recommend watching it with the whole family? Yes. Bring your yeah. kids. Oh, definitely. Uh, get get them plenty. Get them plenty of chocolate and peanut butter. You know where this is going. <laughs> but, uh, no, it's it's it, it's just interesting. Um, she is definitely one of those protagonists who the strength of her as a protagonist falls entirely on the actress playing her, Toni Collette. Yes. She just fucking... She just sells, like, grief. Like, like unimaginable, like, soul-rendering <laughs> crying and shit. Yes. Um, and, you, and, make, and as a character, she makes a lot of uh, choices and uh, that you wouldn't expect someone who, like a protagonist who's more in their right mind and not dealing with stuff like that to make. Um, you could, and uh, I think it's just like an interesting look at a protagonist that's uh, not your normal, like, positive hero of the story uh, I, type person. Even though I don't like Hereditary, I think that is a good pick. Without them, that movie would have been awful. Oh yeah, that movie lives and dies by by the the actors and their performance. Yeah, that it it is just like her acting holds that movie together. It really does. That that sounds really bad. I'm sorry. It's a great movie, but it is true. Uh, she's I... the, she's definitely like the glue. I, I and once that glue stops being there, I stopped caring about the movie. <laughs> uh, so Tay, who who is your actual final pick? God, uh, man, just once, uh, yell both of them, and we'll tell you which one's your final pick. <laughs> okay, yeah. uh, so I was either gonna go with Matthew McConaughey's character from Interstellar, or mm. uh, Freddie fucking Mercury from Bohemian Rhapsody. You gotta go um, Freddie Mercury. You know what? You're right. Although, I don't yeah. know. I guess, do we consider biopic characters? Like, well, I mean, it, it's a movie on its own, it and movie, as yeah. a biopic, it isn't completely accurate, so... It is its own it's not quite a biopic. It's not quite a musical. Yeah, if you've seen the it's movie, it, it's, it's actually not a biopic at all. <laughs> uh, That's true, yeah. I have seen it. Uh, it's more of, yeah, it is more of, like... It is just its own story. 
Uh, based on real events, like the Blair Witch. You know, I just want Freddie Mercury in the Blair that's Witch. A, that's about 70% accurate. But yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll, yeah. Go with, I'll go with Freddie Mercury. Freddie Mercury from Bohemian Rhapsody. Um, mm -hmm. Some of my honorable mentions were uh, Hugh Jackman in The Greatest Showman. Um, obviously, then Matthew McConaughey in Interstellar. Uh, Gatsby from Great Gatsby. He was a lot of fun. Baby from Baby Driver. Uh, was another one mm. of my honorable uh, mentions. I, I, do like I was it. thinking and, about uh, the whole crew from Straight Outta Compton. Ha. Okay, so I guess my honorable mentions were going to be the hobo from Hobo with a Shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 want, I actually am at the man. point where I want to replace um, the, the third Toshio Mifune with Hobo with a Shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> Can I do that? Can I replace Macbeth with Tofa with a shotgun? I guess so. Okay, so we're here. We're talking about Hobo with a shotgun. Now, for those of you that don't know about the Hobo with a shotgun, he is a Hobo with a shotgun. He sure is. <laughs> He's a Hobo. He yep. walks into a downtrodden, apocalyptic town ruled by evil, bad people. <laughs> Yeah, they're not really named. They're just like bad. Sup? And he grabs a shotgun and he starts cleaning up the. A real ring. Murderers. Just because he wants the world to. All the children of the world to grow up in a place where people aren't. <laughs> bad people. Sitting around. Yeah. And he does it all with his. It does. Family-friendly message. I don't know why this entered my head when you were talking about him, but I just had this idea of that meme. Well, of I should like, have picked the main character from Taxi Driver. Uh, fucking oh, that's actually one of my honorable mentions. Rest yeah, in peace, cool. Rutger Hauer. Hobo the Shotgun is fantastic. Oh, that was Rutger Hauer? Yeah, Rutger Hauer is the Hobo the Shotgun. Oh, shit. So, so who Rest are your honorable peace. mentions, Michael? Oh, boy, okay. So, I have... The Driver from Drive, uh, Veronica Sawyer from Heathers, Neil Howie. Oh, that's such a good one. Neil Howie, the police officer out of The Wicker Man, the, the first Wicker Man. <laughs> what? You're not gonna uh, nominate Nicolas Cage? No, I'm good. Henry Spencer from Eraserhead, Bilbo Baggins, Loader, uh, Father Damien Karras from The Exorcist, uh, someone said I'm already Travis Bickle from Taxi Driver. Marty McFly from uh, Back to the Future, The Bride from Kill Bill, Sarah Connor from Terminator, Joker from the new Joker movie because I think he's a super. I think he's the most interesting uh, take see that, on I, mental. One of the most interesting takes on mental illness in a main character protagonist I've seen. That's also a great pick because then you can, uh, um, cause or that would have been a really great pick also because you could actually just use his actual name in it because it's not from any of the comics. Uh, yeah, and then Dominic Cop from Inception. Have you seen King of Comedy, Michael? King of Comedy? I don't think so. Yeah, you should go watch that. <laughs> is uh, what is it about? Who is it? Um, it's that's that's how I'll try and sell you on it. Okay, I'll take a look at it. That's enough. Um, I like both those movies, so. Yeah. Yes, and that's enough, Exton. <laughs> okay, so my actual. <laughs> <laughs> my my lineup of honorable mentions is Japanese Macbeth. <laughs> yeah. Um from Throne of Blood. We're gonna go with Fuck what were my other I already forgot. Was Robocop one of them? Did we do Robocop? <laughs> Robocop was not but you know, he he deserves it I guess. Yeah, Robocop. I still haven't seen it. In fact I was gonna pull the movie out and watch it. How have you uh, not seen that before this? I was gonna watch it before this so show stream watch and it, then I was like, oh, give we'll it do a week three. and then watch our Robocop remake. Yeah, watch both no. of those movies. 
<laughs> you, you uh, actually watch Ro RoboCop. No, it, it's called our RoboCop Robo remake. It's not the RoboCop remake. Yeah, there's oh, a movie. Oh, I, I thought you were talking about the actual. No, no, don't watch that. that I mean, you you can watch it. It's not great, but it tries. Is the RoboCop remake the one you showed me where he's like shooting everyone in the dick in that one? Scene? Yes. Okay. <laughs> That's scene twenty-seven from our RoboCop remake. Yeah. Okay. Incredible. Um, is it our RoboCop or our? Our. Our. Robocop? Our. Okay. Our. Okay. All um, right. So. So. The next... Oh, I didn't get. Oh, oh I didn't get to say it. My what's actual. The last one? So, no, my honorable mentions were yeah. going to be Black Dynamite from Black Dynamite. <laughs> That's actually a pretty good one. Black Dynamite. Um, Leon the Professional from Leon oh, damn. the Professional. I see that. That's so fun. And... Um, Swan from Warriors. Yeah. And... What's his name? What's the new from, name? From Gladiator. Oh, oh uh, Russell, Russell Crowe's Crow Crow character? Russell Crowe. Yeah, Russell Crowe from Russell Crowe. Nice. <laughs> uh, Russell Leos oh, Crowless. Also, I don't remember the character's name, but I was thinking about them. The main, the main kid from Weathering With You. I can't remember his name for the life oh, of me. Oh, I haven't seen it yet, so I can't tell you either. But I think he's a very interesting protagonist that makes some interesting choices. Ooh, one last final uh, honorable mention for me, too, as well. Yeah. Uh, he almost made it to the list, and it was going to be Miguel from Coco. Oh, damn, that's a really good I movie haven't too. seen See, Coco. I was at, oh, no, Coco's amazing, <laughs> and I agree. I was actually you, you keeping know what, since... animated movies off the list, because I figured we'd do an animated protagonist. You, you know what, can I, I'm going to go ahead and swap out one of mine for Miguel. Uh, I'm going to swap out uh, Sing, since... Two of you guys haven't seen the fucking movie. Mm. Um, you coward! Most of my movies haven't been seen. How how can you how can you d get rid of Illumination scene? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> All right. Okay, Zach. Yeah, no, I did it. <laughs> you got it, boss. All right, so now we oh, uh, go I, through all the characters and we give them each. I, a... I had one. Oh, you have one. I more? had one more. I'm sorry. Okay. Who is I, I was gonna. I was gonna say as an anti-protagonist, Dante from Clerks. Oh. I think he's a terrible protagonist, but that's why I, I thought that's... about it for a second. Yeah. Yeah. No, I wouldn't think because he's the opposite of a protagonist. Yeah, he just kind of complains and reacts to things that happen to him. Yeah. Uh. So now we go through the list of the. Uh, in this case, 20 characters presented. We give them each a score, 1 to 10. We combine those scores, and then the top 10 is the definitive top 10 list. So first off, we have Indiana Jones. 9. Also 9, yeah. Cool. We've had some pretty intense ones. Yeah. Oh, man, a JoJo character won't make this top, won't be number 1 this time either. <laughs> Well, okay, well, oh, well, wait a second. Why didn't anyone, why didn't anyone nominate <laughs> Josuke from the live action Josuke? Oh, wait a God. second here. If if we can nominate Josuke from the live action <laughs> part four Takeshi Miike film, come oh. on, we could just I would rate him a Takeshi zero because he's fucking come terrible. Well, that's an awful movie. What, what about? That's uh, great, but as long as the rest of us give him a ten, he still might make the, number, the ha, list. Have you? Have you <laughs> Have you seen the movie? They're part of no. it. <laughs> Have you seen the How sheer heart attack? Is. No. Oh god. Well, anyway. I want to know. Uh, Rocky Balboa. <laughs> Seven. Dude, nine, eight. bro. Uh, I'll go ahead and give that a eight as well. No, seven. Uh, John Wick. Also seven. Eight. Same. One, two, three, four, five. A four. That's me. Oh, you gave him a four? Yeah. Ace Ventura. I, best I don't think he's in it. Okay. Um. Bro, se seven. Seven is what I'm going to say. Six. I'm going to also give him a four. Oh, I don't know. You just hate people, Alex. That's cool. Michael? Yeah. Oh, I said a seven. Oh. 
We're talking about John Wick still, right? So, yeah. Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. Oh, Ace so Ventura. Wait, where... Ooh, I'm going to give him a five. And I have so... watched it. I, I have also watched it, to clarify. I've also seen all the John Wick movies. Yeah, yeah I've not actually seen the first Ace Ventura movie. I've only seen the second um, one. Both are great. So, w this is any movie protagonist, right? Yeah. So, if I went out in my backyard and shot a movie with my phone right now <laughs> and sent it to y'all, I could be the number one movie protagonist. Yeah, you, you could have. But you could have, now. but it's too late now. Uh, but te uh, so Ted Stryker from Airplane. Uh, Can I give him a six? I'm going to give him a four. <laughs> uh, I'm going to give him a five because I've never seen the movie. Oh, you should see that. That's a very funny movie. Um, Ashley Williams from like it. Ashley Williams from Evil Dead. Ten. Seven. Nine. Uh, I'll also say seven. Um, uh, Ellen Ripley from Alien. Ten. Uh, eight. Nine. Seven. Uh, hobo with a shotgun from Hobo with a Shotgun. <laughs> five, because I haven't seen that. Uh, five, because I also haven't seen it. Three. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Because he's poor. You have because seen I have. it, Zach. I know, and that's why it's three. <laughs> <laughs> it would actually but be higher he, if I hadn't. <laughs> what, what is the definition of a protagonist, Zach? They're the main character. The story focuses on them. That is not the definition of a protagonist. from their perspective, is what I meant. Are you looking up what a protagonist? Uh, he's probably am. a protagonist. That doesn't make him a good one. That, an advocate or champion of a particular cause or idea. <laughs> You're right. I don't give a fuck about his. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll, give him, I'll give him a seven. All right, cool. <laughs> uh, Sanjiro from Yojimbo. Five. Uh, I'm gonna say nine. He's actually pretty great. I just haven't seen it. So yeah. Well, you can go just off of our pitch and say how interested <laughs> you were from our pitch alone. I wasn't. There's a reason Ooh. we did our pitch. <laughs> Damn, I, I wasn't. Oh. <laughs> so what about you, Tay? A uh, four, because I was supposed to go off the pitch. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Damn, so mean. Uh, Odaisu from Old Boy. Uh, ten, fucking a uh, ten, bro. I give him a six. Five. I haven't seen the movie. A seven. I mean, I'm sure it's a good movie. I've heard good things about it. Uh, yeah, Miguel. You gotta watch the Spike from, Lee one. Uh, Miguel from Coco. Eight. Ten. Uh, I'll, I'll say. I'll, I'll say two. <laughs> wow, <Damn>. you racist? <laughs> no, Book of Life is the shit! <laughs> What? They're Close. not even the same thing! They're just both about the Day of the Dead. They have no other How skills. racist are you? <laughs> oh, because Book these two life, movies vaguely have definitive. to do with the same. No, Book of Life comes from a place of passion. Pixar is trying to cash in. <laughs> That's horseshit. Like, Coco is one of the most, ex like, fucking hard worked made movies. Yeah, no, I'm just fucking around. I haven't seen it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So, uh, Sergeant Angel from, uh, from, uh, uh, fuck. Hot Fuzz. Hot Fuzz. Uh, Six. Seven. seven. Six. Gary fucking King. Dude, I, lo I love Gary. <laughs> That's King. not who you nominated. <laughs> that would, I, I that know, been, I'm just saying that his name. Been, that would have been a 10 for me. <laughs> uh, uh, Danielle Hillard or Mrs. Doubtfire from Mrs. Doubtfire. Ten. Uh, what did you say, Michael? Seven. Right. Um, Eggsy from uh, uh, Kingsman. I say eight. He's great. Six. I haven't seen it, but I feel like I like him. From the pitches. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's a good-looking British dude, and. 
<laughs> he literally gets you know some hot anal sex at the end of the game. I retroactively go at Big Bite at two for whatever the pitch from the axes was, though. Uh, <laughs> you, you, you don't even mention how much of a coward he was for not shooting a dog, and the government didn't want him. <laughs> Because so, he didn't so shoot what, a dog. What are you scoring at, uh, Axeman? <laughs> Four. <laughs> oh, you mean. Freddie Mercury from Bohemian Rhapsody. Oh, ten. It's Freddie seven. fucking Mercury. I'll say seven. Six. He also has anal sex, just elsewhere. Yes. You can't is it, it. Is anal, like, sex the theme of this episode? Apparently, well, we keep nominating characters who have had a, plenty of anal sex. What about our top ten anal sex? A- anal sex scenes? I- I'm so down, let's do it. No, just top ten anal sex, <laughs> not even from... It's a top ten <laughs> anal sex. I could run this, I could yeah. run this list. <laughs> no, number two, aluminum a- anal sex. Ugh, damn, that sounds painful. We're, we're bringing it back. This is all the way back from the start. Do you, do you like cut a can open? <laughs> it's called the open? callback. Come on, guys. <laughs> this, this is, this is uh, Chekhov's gun. K- K- Carrie White from Carrie. Ooh, uh, eight. eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. Um, Blast Agent K, not. specifically from Blade Runner. Not, eight. not... Uh, um, yeah, he's gonna get buried. I, I'm, I'm Six. gonna give that a seven. Oh, two. Only Based on the pitch. <laughs> Did you say two, t- Tay? I, sa- I said, I said oh. seven. I, no, I heard you say seven. I'm not a spiteful little fucker. <laughs> Ma- Max, what are you talking spike. about? <laughs> Every single one of mine that you've done has been like less than four. I like that he spiked my, that he spited uh, my pick. Yeah, it's unrelated. Max, oh, was that your pick? <laughs> my yeah. bad. Uh, that's actually a, that's actually a, a six then. <laughs> I think I think uh, I, I gave it a Zach is just going yeah. down everyone's list at once, so yeah. everyone from here on out's mine. Yeah, uh, Max Rockatansky from the Mad Max series. Give him their eight. Eight. Give him a seven. Tay. Uh, I'll give him a five because I haven't actually seen any of the Max Mad, Mad Max movies. Hmm. Max uh, Mad. Definitely watch Fury Road at least. Yeah, at least Fury I have Road. it. I just haven't watched it. Uh, Jackie Brown. Mel, as you know, Mel Gibson's Jackie aged Brown. very Nine. well. No, eight. I, I haven't seen it. I'll, um, say, I'll say five. I'll give him a uh, six. Uh, once again, five. Because actually, I'll give him a six. Uh, Annie Graham oh, from uh, what was Annie Graham from? Hereditary. From Hereditary. <sighs> I'm gonna say I'm gonna say like God. fucking. F- I'm gonna say four. I'm, I'm gonna also say a four. <laughs> I'm gonna change all of mine for accents down to a one now. Though. Oh, actually, <laughs> you know, I'll do seven. <laughs> okay. Tay, what what is it? What do you got for Annie Graham? Uh, five. All right. Um, I haven't seen a lot of Michael Spicks, unfortunately. Uh, I've yeah, seen I most of I've seen two like... of them. I've seen two of them, and I plan to watch the the other one. But yes, as Ashley said, the only Agent K I know is from Men in Black. That's why, that's why you specify. I know, I had to say that. I'd be like, not from Men in no, Black. No, that's the only Agent K. That's not the only one I know. That's the only Agent K. Yeah. Well, Ashley's just straight it's wrong. And I well, <laughs> Michael said you're just straight wrong, okay, and he, he'll fight you wh- for it. What are Ashley's no. five protagonists no, if she's know. gonna bring herself to this conversation? Yeah, Ashley, what's your, what's your five protagonists while I decide what the top ten is? <laughs> Uh, it's gonna be, um... <laughs> what about uh, Spider-Man? Oh, and... It's gonna be... It's gonna be Spider-Man? Spider-Man which then, like, Spider-Man? Bella, and then, like, four Bella Uh, it would definitely be the... Buffed. It would definitely be the, uh, um... <laughs> most recent. Tom Holland, Spider-Man. No. Damn it. I actually have two more honorable mentions. I'm sorry. It's fine. I'm still making the top ten list. So you got time to fill. <sighs> well... How can we forget Tommy Wiseau from The Room? That's not his character's name. <laughs> but, but, but that's the actor's name. That's not I mean, his character's basically. name, so clearly you forgot it. 
must not be a very memorable character, so how could we forget him when you don't even remember him? <laughs> of course I remember Johnny. Oh, that's right, his name is Johnny, I forgot. Yeah. And Did my you just second look one... I was gonna say, he just looked that up. <laughs> He's like, yeah, yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. My second one, I don't even need to look up the name, is Neil Breen from every Neil Breen film. Yeah, he actually is just himself in his movies, and just, they're all terrible. What are some no, of his he, movies? He has a name in them, but we all know his real name is Neil Breen. <laughs> and he is here to shut down all the corrupt government and all the evil banks. <laughs> By that, committing uh, mass terrorism in most cases. And everyone cheers for it <laughs> as well. <laughs> which is absolutely <laughs> spectacular. With, as a protagonist that champions a particular idea, I mean, he does it. <laughs> he does do that. He nah, does in the, fact fulfill his goal. The best protagonist is obviously Sandra Bullock's character in Bird Box. <laughs> Good, gross. I, thought, I actually saw that when it came out because my brother was too. watching it. Wow, that you know, is a dumb movie. There was there was some character development though. She stopped calling them boy and girl. She gave them really bad names. <laughs> she named them after think, uh, their parents. Bird Box. Yeah. You know, I think boy and girl are actually better names. Boy. Boy. Uh, <laughs> boy. <laughs> I mean, we know that boy is better. Would, would Bird Box be better if it starred Kratos? Yes. 100%. If, if, absolutely. If he's, like, boy. blindfolded and he just starts he swinging probably, his yeah, axe he, he probably, no, he'd probably already have immunity to them for being, like, because he's a god. Yeah. Just, just punch me. He's like, boy, don't look. Don't look, boy. Girl. <laughs> girl, she, girl, could you look. imagine, no, could Girl, you look, imagine? die, girl. Could you imagine if everyone had to kill themselves God of War style? <laughs> <laughs> just all kinds of like horribly like graphic. Is, is that is like, that why he stabs they himself with rip the, their own heads off? Is that game? why he stabs himself with the blade of Olympus? Because he saw the bird box monster. <laughs> yeah, he did. All right, so we have, have you seen the bird box monster? No, I actually no. haven't seen it. Oh my Isn't god, it really look stupid it looking. Actually... No, look, I want your live reaction. Look it up right now, please. Okay. Okay. They're originally going to put this in the film. No, actually, let me post it in the chat. Give me a second. Okay. They were going okay, to put this in the I film, but they, um, Sandra Bullock kept laughing. She could not stop laughing at the monster that they decided, you know what? Maybe we shouldn't put this in the movie. Like, whenever they showed up on set, they just kept laughing at it. Okay, here. Give me a sec. Marcia, this is the monster oh, that, that when you see idea. it, it makes you go crazy and kill yourself. I said, maybe you need to finish a quiet place. I got literally. Oh my god. That. <laughs> that's the monster. That that's makes the monster. Kill yes. <laughs> that is the no, 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 no. Do not. That is not. Do, okay. So. Just to clarify, that isn't technically the monster. Besides just the fact that they scrapped that design. Also, they do clarify that like the monster... No, no, no. Thing. no, no. The, the monster looks different based on each person that looks at it. Wow. It's like a representation of their fear. So the reason it looks like a baby is because of her <laughs> own personal issues. Like with her and like, not wanting <laughs> and kids I like, or whatever. But I like that, That's why it looks I like, like that. I like that she couldn't help but laugh at it. Because it's so stupid. <laughs> I like the idea that though that this thing would make would scare someone so bad they kill themselves, even if they were scared of babies. <laughs> yeah. So the the monster isn't technically doesn't look like that. It just would have looked like that for her and for us since we saw the, the world through her eyes. You know. Okay. We're so, doing it right now. Top ten monster designs. Nah, Let's go. We'll do that eventually because we actually talked about doing top ten nope. monsters and the winners. Can we just do top ten movies we'll at some point? Yeah, of course. Like, just straight-up movies. Number oh, yeah. number yeah. one, top ten monsters right predator. now. It's Predator. We got the number Langoliers from the Langoliers. <laughs> oh, never mind. I'm, I'm cor I stand corrected. <laughs> so... Here, I, I, pro I provide an image for all of you in <laughs> case you don't know what the Langoliers look like. I, oh, no, I am familiar. <laughs> what, what, what is this? It's, well, they're it's, from the uh, Langoliers. Uh, is it like Stephen a mouth King's... with glass for teeth? 
<laughs> no, <laughs> it's it's you know when you like throw aluminum foil into a grill, like ball it up and throw it into a grill. <laughs> No, <laughs> yo, you're right, dude. No, you see, these are the monsters. These are the creatures that eat the time that has passed in the past. Wow, this like, is like they eat. Up... I hear a lot of people like say that the Langoliers, like in the book, as monsters, are amazing, but they just don't translate in the like movies. Apparently, yeah. Well, this is well. what they look like. <laughs> All right. So our definitive top ten list. So we have a four-way tie for ninth. So 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th uh, is Eggsy, Miguel, Max, and Odaisu. Uh, then we have a three-way tie for 6th place being Carrie White, John Wick, and Sergeant Angel. Uh, and then we just have a top five after that. So uh, number five is Freddie Mercury. It's hilarious that he's number five. It's hilarious that he jump frogged over. You're telling you're telling me that Freddie Mercury is better than Odaisu. Yes, 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 I am. You know what? I actually agree. Definitively, number four is Rocky Balboa, which is amazing. It's like we know who number two and one are. Number three, well, we have three. is oh, Ashley three. Williams. Oh, yes. The yeah. tennis player? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, number two is Ellen Ripley. And number one is Indiana Jones. What a fucking surprise. <laughs> Dude, everyone agrees, man. That's just a great main character. <laughs> it's, it's hard to argue. Yeah. <sighs> you... No, we did it. So, so yeah, good, good job, job, guys. We did it. Yeah. So, so here's why the Langoliers <laughs> are the most compelling monsters. You see, they eat time, and you know what time's a lot like oh, aluminum. <laughs> so oh, we'll see, good. guys. That's not bad. That's not good for them. You should not supposed to have them in your deodorant. Well, that, that's why their teeth. Deodorant. You know what? Yeah. And we're not supposed to just eat up time, but here we fucking are. <laughs> he's right. Time he's right. Cancer from all that aluminum. Dude. You know, maybe time is the real cancer. We're all just slowly dying from it. <laughs> no, it's aluminum. <laughs> no, 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 it's a, it's aluminum, and we're all dying. From Dude, it. when I worked at Whole Foods, man, the amount of people who came up to me about the aluminum, about aluminum, are <laughs> fucking deodorant. Oh my god, that sounds awful. Uh, so yeah, was that so an actual thing fluoride, that people talk to you about? And fluoride and toothpaste. So with that, guys, as always, don't forget to stay lucky. We'll see you next week with our next The Dump. Don't forget to check out our Twitter. We'll definitely have a new list posted tonight. Uh, of course, Mellow Yellow Mania was the, uh, which, what uh, we should have for the next one, was the most recent one, and it was a four-way tie. Every single pick won. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I guess it's up to Tay what he plays. Wait, what? <laughs> So, so Mellow Yellow Mania, we put up a vote to see what to play, and it was based on games he would have downloaded for free, including City Skylines, The Sims 4, uh, uh, Farm Farming Simulator, Simulator, and whatever he wants to play. What, uh, okay. It's a four-way tie, so t t you get to choose, I suppose. Cool. It's not like the reason I did that was so I didn't have to, but it's fine. <laughs> well, I'm oh, sorry. I don't think the fans I voted, voted, so I'll, was... go, I'll go, I'll go. Well, I don't think you'd vote. I think the votes... Uh, the, the... I think it'd be funny. Michael, are you just going to pick uh, whatever he chooses? <laughs> whatever who chooses. Uh, the One last the option was... Was, was whatever Tay wants. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, you, what, are the, what are the other options? Farming Simulator... City Skylines, what were the others? Or Sims. Yeah, oh yeah, so okay, so, so it is over, but yeah, the options were the Sims 4, City Skylines, Farming Simulator, or whatever he wants to do. Were we talking about Farming Simulator, because we could all, like, multiplayer it? Uh, yeah, we were talking about that. If Tay wanted to do that, that he's free to. Yeah, we can do that, I just didn't know if you guys wanted to do that as, like, a together thing, or if you guys wanted uh, to specifically... I mean... Because... I mean, I probably just jump in every now and then or something. Yeah. Like so, like, if you wanted to have Do your I have own to farm, feed a we could. Yeah, we would like. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Uh, if you want to do your own farm and then we jump in every once in a while, that is totally cool. Is that something that you can do in that game? That's, we'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I well, guess we will. I, I'm going to say absolutely, because I don't know. But cool. with that, guys, as always, don't forget to stay lucky, and we'll see you at the next one. Bye. Bye now. Bye-bye. Bye now. Bye-bye. Yeah. See you guys.